Hey guys, it's Tim here today. I'm going to show you guys how you can improve the quality of a picture and a video all at the same time with a couple apps I found. They're really simple. They're eight simple apps. So uh, that's going to be good for you guys. And please note that these are the apps I personally use the most. So I don't want to be like, oh, these are the best editing apps out there. Because they're probably not. You might find some apps out there that are way better. But it's okay because I use these and uh, these make my pictures look just fine. So let's begin this video. So here's how this video is going to work. Basically, I'm going to be showing you guys what the apps are. Then, from there, I'm going to be explaining them, and I'm going to be showing you guys previews of like before and after pictures and videos. Let's start it up with the first app. It's clearly perfectly clear, and it costs a dollar. So you can get it in the Play Store, and as you can see right when you open it up, it's going to be the ultimate auto-correction app. Let's choose a picture from their specific gallery they have. So here, I'm going to choose this one because this one was very bad. Now, as you can see, it makes the picture a little more brighter and it automatically does it. You don't have to even do anything. You can't see my face still and it's a little blurry. So I'm just going to click on fix the darkness and it's going to brighten up my face. And as you can see there, you can see me smiling and you can see my teeth, my eyes, my clothes, everything. You can also have exposure, depth, sharpen it, vibration, all these great effects. Uh, more effects are included, but you have to pay uh, each one. costs a dollar, so bring that out. But it brings out the colors in your pictures, and once you finish editing the picture, you can press on that button, and you can automatically save it. So here's a preview of the before and after pictures that I took. Check it out. Here they are. So there you go, that's perfectly clear. It's an app that lets you clear up your photos, make the colors pop out, and not so dullish anymore. Next up, let's check out Pixay Pro. Now Pixay Pro is very famous and it's free. You can buy the full version which costs $4, which includes a lot more tools, special effects, styles, stickers, and much more. So first off, you wanna get a picture. So let's get a picture from my device. So I'm gonna choose this one, and uh, you get to choose what you want the photo to be what size, so I'm going to choose maximum and the picture is going to pop up and I like to take pictures at school because I'm very bad but you can adjust it so you if you want you want you can have more, more exposure there more light that's pretty good if you want more adjustments you can have a lot more brightness you can sharpen it up a little if it's a little bit too too blurry so I'm just going to sharpen it up there you go that's a little better if you want, you can have more effects. You have distortion and effects, you have color adjustments, you have artistic adjustments, photo effects, and uh, you have filter and frames, and a lot more. So let's check out one of the cool effects that they have. So if I want, I can make my picture look a little more duotone, or whatever you call it. If I want, I can add stickers inside. You can have word bubbles, titles, hats, eyes, Thanksgiving, uh, romantic comics, all of those great stickers. But that's if you want to joke around and fool around with your photos, and uh, you can do that. Word bubble, I was probably thinking about Andrew when I took this, so I'm just going to write that. And you can choose uh, whatever you want with the speech bubble. And then you can have different fonts. You just have to install it from the Play Store. They have different font settings and all that, but it's very nice. Once you're done with the photo, you export it and save it to your album. Okay. And then it automatically saves. So that's Pixay Pro. You can get it for free, or there's a full version which costs four dollars next up I have B funky this is free or you can get the full version which also costs four dollars I don't know what's up with the big deal with all this four dollar stuff and it has well over 30 effects in the free version if you get the full version you're not gonna get ripped off you're gonna get 60 effects and 40 frames included. So I'm just gonna choose it for my camera roll. So there it is. So I'm gonna choose that. So there you go. I'm not that good with photos though. So don't be like, oh, this guy is a photo freak. Don't worry, I'm not. Different lighting effects. If you don't want that much, you can have a little. So I like that. Vibrance. And then also you have editing effects. You have frames as well, which is very, very cool. If you wanna edit your photos and have nice frames in your photos, you can edit the sides, how big you want them. That's pretty good, I'm gonna leave it at that. Temperature, maybe it's a little too bright, so maybe I wanna darken it up a little bit because it's a little bit too much. So there you go, that's good. And uh, right there I fixed it. So let me just save it to my SD card or my gallery 
and you can share it to Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, uh, Flickr, and Be Funky. So here's a preview of the picture. Check it out. So yeah, that's Be Funky. Next up, I have Paper Camera. Now this doesn't edit your photos, but it does help you take better pictures. So uh, this is what my desk looks like. Now I'm gonna bring up my camera and make it look way better. So here you have comic style. That looks very, very nice. You can go right through and you have different effects. Now this does cost $1.99, so it may be a little high on the price here, but if you wanna have cool effects like sketch it up, it automatically sketches it up for it. You can also have all these way cool effects. <laughs> you have old printer, you have neon cola, whatever that is. That looks pretty nice. Right then and there, it takes a picture and you can scroll right through. You can also record at the same time with this effect. So if you want, there you go, it's recording the video. It's gonna save and we can play it automatically. There you go, it's recording the video. Going right through. So check it out, paper camera in the Play Store, $1.99. Next up I have Fast Burst Camera. Now this one's gonna be a little hard to explain to you guys because I actually wanna show you guys in action how this actually does work. You can take up to 30 pictures per second. Not even the newest iPhone is able to do that. It has zero shutter lag. It's great for sports, pictures of kids and pets, party camera. So there you go, check it out. Here I go. All right guys, so uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, Fast first camera in action. I'm going to be shooting a basketball into the hoop over there. So let's do it. Let's try one more time. It's okay. It's not. But yeah, that was good. So that's fast first camera. So that was me taking a picture here. I'm going to be showing you guys what the preview is. Check it out. And uh, yeah, that's Fast First Camera. You can get it in the Play Store for free or get the full version for $4. So here I go with the videos. This is the first one, it's called Magisto. It's free, so payment is not an option. It edits your videos. You don't have to do any editing at all. You don't have to go on uh, iMovie or anything. It uh, does it automatically, so don't worry about that. First, I'm gonna shoot the videos, so I'll be right back. So I'm back, so here are all my clips. All of them taken right then and there. I just did random things. For you guys so I'm just gonna click next don't laugh at the video now that I have all of them chosen so let's click next and uh, now you can choose your music so I chose it kick-ass epic instrumental now I'm gonna name my movie and it's gonna be called how to men so there you go that's the title let's just click make my movie and uh, I'm gonna pause it here and come back when it's done Next up I have Lapse It Pro. If you wanna have time lapse on your phone, this is the way to go. So basically what you do is you press on new capture and all you really have to do is press capture button and it captures a specific amount of frames every five seconds or every amount of seconds you want to put it at. So I have it at five seconds, so take a picture every five seconds. You can have the resolution up to 1080, which is great, but I have it at 720 just to have it um, at that rate. So once you have the video, I have a couple videos here. I have one in my car. So if I view the details, I can go here and you can see there's a lot of different options. So once you took in the video, it doesn't matter how long it is, it compresses it down to the specific frames that you have. So trust me, if you have like a minute, a long one minute video, that's gonna be only like a couple one second video. Trust me, this this what this video was like five minutes long and look how fast it is. Check it out. Bam! Right there, that's how fast it is. But it looks pretty nice. And you can have effects to pop out the color. So you can see there it changes actually. So there's original, there's the pop out. You can also have different effects, you can have gray style, and uh, you can render it at how many rates per second you want it. Here's a video of me using the app. Check it out. All right guys, so uh, let's see, we're gonna test out time lapse on my device, so let's press capture, and I'm just gonna move around my backyard.
there you go. So there you go. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I just I went around the whole backyard. So that's basically Lats It Pro. Check it out. Last but not least, I have Animoto. You remember those intros I made with my old Android videos? Here they are. I used to use these for my uh, intros, and they were actually pretty nice. So basically what you have to do is sign up first. You have to sign up. So here you go. If you want to make a new video, just tap on it. Tap on that play button right there. And uh, basically right now, you got to add your style. So change style. You get to choose your style. So here are all the styles that come with it. Now I have the pro version because the pro version gives you more templates and more styles to choose from. So I'm just going to do the original Animoto style that they have. That's the style of the video. Basic. Next gonna change the song. Choose whatever song you want. Alright, so I chose my song. It's called Epic Kick-Ass Instrumental. Pretty nice. You can choose to add photos. Now what's great is you can choose whatever you want. Here I got a couple photos from the internet. So I'm just gonna add them. They're all from Android. All of them added there. You can also add text, so that's pretty cool. You can write how to men or anything you want. You can move the text anywhere you want. So let's say for example you just grab it and just plug it in right, let's say right, right about there, at the beginning. And uh, you can move photos around, very simple, you just have to tap and hold. So then once you preview it, you can press to actually process it, so there you go. I'm gonna process it, it's gonna produce it, and uh, I'll get back to you when that is done. So uh, once it finishes, you just, you can tap on it, and there comes an option up, you can share it, download it, or delete it. I'm gonna download it. So uh, once it downloads onto your device, you can watch it from your gallery. So check it out there. Here's a little preview of the of the video I just made in like a couple seconds. Check it out. So there you go, that's how you make a cool intro. If you really want to make uh, videos and start making cool intros, go check out Animoto, it's not that bad. Uh, Animoto.com or you can get this app on Android and iPhone, uh, it's free. So I uh, hope you guys liked it. Those are the top eight apps I use to improve the quality of my pictures and my videos. Um, all these apps uh, were needed to make this great video happen. It was pretty hard to make because I wanted to get all the photos in there and all of the pictures in there and it's pretty hard to edit so Hope you guys liked it. Oh, also shouts out to Declan. It was his birthday yesterday, so I just wanted to give a shout out to him. He's a big How To Make fan, as most of all of you are. He was just hitting me up on KIK. Uh, yeah, so I chatted up there. Why not? Uh, my username is How To Man, as always. So yeah, that's pretty nice. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Kapow! Peace.